watching the brat. Chess with the brat, yeah. Get a subscriber tap. Chess with the brat. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're not already subscribed, girl, what are you doing? Why are you watching my video and you're not subscribed to me? Okay. All the bad just subscribe to me, y'all. I don't make up the rules. Scientifically proven, okay? The tea in this story time is extra hot. Like, I know the tea is always hot, but like this, this is a different type of piping. Like, this this, this tea is scorching. It might, it might just burn your mother tongue. I'm not gonna lie, like, oh, I, I wasn't gonna tell the story time because I already mentioned the story time to y'all in a previous video or whatever i was like oh let me know if y'all want the fight um fighting in a in the drive through story time and y'all was like y'all wanted it or whatever of course but y'all why did the girl that i fought why the girl in question why do i have a receipt from literally today well i have a receipt from wednesday and then again today Wednesday I was gonna let it rock. Wednesday I wasn't gonna say nothing. I wasn't pressed or in a rush to make this video. Like I knew I was gonna make it. It was in rotation with my other story times. But I wasn't really pressed to like do it next. Cause I wanted to build up that anticipation. You know what I mean? Like, I mean the anticipation is already built up at this point. But it's like, I didn't know exactly when I was gonna do it. If I was gonna do it next or if I was gonna do subscriber story times first or what. Like I wasn't really sure. But somebody decided to open their mouth and try to check me or i don't really know what they thought that they was doing so now y'all getting this story time today <laughs> first of all i don't know why anybody that i don't know i don't okay let me let me calm down y'all because i'm starting to get a little hot i don't know why anybody that i don't mess with anymore like friend wise it doesn't it doesn't matter any type of any type of beef that i've ever had with anybody whether it was years ago or now if we're not cool now I don't see why you will be watching my video that's number one and anybody that would know this girl either she watched my my videos she watches my videos and she's lying or somebody else in this story time that i'm gonna mention is cool with her again and watches my videos either way anybody that would ever go and tell her anything that's watching my videos obviously we not cool so you're you're a weirdo just like her you're a weirdo and you could get tried too without further ado i'm not even going to drag it i'm not even going to give you guys no long intro we're gonna jump right into the story time because i don't like being played with so we're gonna give the girl the main girl in this story time we're gonna give her the name i wanted to name her bird but i think i'm gonna name her nibbler i'm gonna name her nibbler and y'all gonna get why y'all might already get get why if y'all seen the thumbnail or whatever or if y'all just really good at putting two and two together but we gonna name her nibbler she was part of like a little friend group one of the many friend groups that i trial ran because y'all already know like i don't know about y'all but in high school friend groups did not really last when it came to girls like it was one of those trial run things y'all already know the drill so she was part of like she wasn't my only friend group of this year of like my junior year or whatever i had other like not huge friend groups but i had other little friends here and there that were like out of this friend group or whatever but um i met nibbler because she ended up getting transferred to my school from another school it was a school not in my district or not in my same city but it was like a city like 20 minutes away from ours or whatever like another county i think it was clayton county or she might have been jonesboro something like that a school in jonesboro or one of those schools or whatever and um i met her because she ended up having a locker near mine my junior year so and this was the first semester of junior year so it probably was maybe like a week or two into the year she ended up coming and she was obviously new i didn't recognize her from last year i kind of like showed her where her class was going to be or whatever and she ended up being in a couple of my classes because again she came into that year like being in my grade so we ended up having a couple classes together and then the other girls in the story time we're gonna name them froggy one two and three mainly just because they were also birds. They didn't really have any like personality of their own. Um, apart from one of the girls, like I really don't have a problem with, but I'm just gonna name them all Froggy one, two, and three so y'all don't get confused. And basically, basically whenever Nibbler said jump, they said how high, like they, whenever Nibbler wanted them to get Froggy, they did. So we just gonna name them Frogs. Nibbler was the type of friend where it was like, she was never rude to me. Cause again, I don't play like that. Like I never really had a problem with a friend who was like rude to me necessarily because it's like if you're rude to me I'm gonna be rude to you like I'm not one of them pushover type of people you can definitely not try to little girl me I mean I've had people try to little girl me Q. 
keyword try but like you can't little girl me you can't like walk all over me none of that like it just doesn't go that way over here so um i didn't have that problem with her some of the other girls in the friend group i guess had that problem with her like she would really talk out of the side of her neck to other but not just um but what i did experience from her is like she was one of them backhanded friends which i would never deal with no friend like that now but like in high school you kind of just took whatever you could get like not everybody if you if you were real like particular about how people treated you in high school then i admire you because in high school i did not care like as long as my friends were good friends for the most part or like you know occasionally then like it was cool which is bad but yeah she was like a backhanded friend one of those friends who like you tell her something good happened to you and she just be like oh like you know silently clapping or like like when everybody clapping she's snapping like it's a poetry slam or something like she just wasn't somebody who i felt like was really happy when i made accomplishments and didn't really show up for me how i showed up for her you can say she was a toxic friend but like in that way where like she tried to do it subtly or she tried to like be funny in certain things like i remember like i was super insecure about my weight back then and i wasn't even big like i ended up getting bigger later but i wasn't even big then but i've always had like body dysmorphia where i felt like i was you know like i don't really know how i look or i felt like i look different in the mirror than i really look and i remember like sometimes she would take my pictures and i would tell her like um i feel like i look big and she would like dead ass be like oh that it, i think it's just the angle like that's making you look big like you should like switch to another like she was literally agreeing with me that i looked big and I, it's like even when she would be hating on other females that like weren't part of our friend group like and i could tell it was for no reason or on some like hating shit. i would be like girl why are you being a hater like out of the froggies the one that i was the closest with was froggy two and then froggy one and three i was kind of like like cool with because froggy three was like in a class that we had with nibbler and froggy one i think had a locker near ours and then froggy two i was already just coolest really cool with and nibbler um I, I guess on her own became really cool with i guess they had like a class together or whatever and so and they knew the other froggies like we just all knew each other and we all, we was all cool and like we made a group chat or whatever and we can go ahead and just jump into the first situation so summertime after 11th grade or whatever we all real cool at this point and hanging out we done been to the mall we done told each other our deepest darkest secrets we done you know spilled the tea told each other about our boyfriends and stuff and at the time i was dating if y'all haven't seen y'all need to well y'all don't need to watch two story times for this to, none of this to make sense all of this is going to make perfect sense but if y'all after this video want to go watch um just to like see more of like the timeline what was going on around this time at the time i was dating this boy and he ended up being gay like i ended up finding out that he was gay and but that's a little bit later on in this story as well but um i have a story time on my channel about finding out my boy my boyfriend was gay or woo, woo, woo. froggy one of the froggies had a boyfriend and nibbler had a boyfriend i don't know if nibbler's boyfriend in 11th grade was the same one as 12th grade but i just remember both years she had a dude or whatever it was summertime and nibbler ended up sending in the group chat this fly and it was for a party it was for a pool party mind you she came from a city like 20 minutes away from us and i know that's not far but like it's kind of far and um froggy too she was working at zaxby's she was working at Zax oh she was working at zaxby's she got it i think it was like a summer job she got this year um in 11th grade like as soon as the summer started she started working at zaxby's and um i don't really know what froggy three was doing because me and her we didn't really talk too much and she was kind of quiet in the group chat like she would come to like hang out when, whenever we hung out and stuff like that but she wasn't really really talkative in the group chat she was one of them girls who was like off her phone i'm pretty sure the freaking group chat was muted on her phone and like i was kind of the same way but i definitely spoke in that group chat more than she did so yeah nibbler sends a flyer or whatever it's like this pool party it's like you know the girl the birthday girl whatever is on the flyer and it has like the information and on the flyer it says bring your own beer and it says something like um twenty dollar entry free to bring a plus one something like that so she sends it and she's like y'all my home girl is having a party um at the pool and i really want somebody to come with me as my plus one or whatever and she's like who can come because like we would do that a lot like who wants to come with me to woo, 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 because we 
the way it was is like unless it was an event event like our own event we didn't always like hang out all together all the time because one person would be working somebody would have a, another thing to go to a baby shower somebody didn't feel like hanging out somebody was in trouble or just already had plans different things she's kind of like who can come or whatever and i see it and i'm like oh like i was down to go but if somebody else wanted to go i would have just like let them type it like it wasn't i've always been the same way like i like doing stuff with my friends i like hanging out with my friends but i would always rather be at home and um i did have a boyfriend but i don't think i was doing anything like i was just kind of waiting to see if anybody was going to say that they wanted to go before i said like oh me because again i'll take no plans over plans froggy one didn't say anything like she didn't respond in the group chat for a while and then froggy two said that she had to work i remember she said she couldn't come because she had to work froggy three ended up saying oh froggy three ended up saying that she couldn't come i don't remember what her reason was but i remember her saying that she couldn't come so i end up saying in the group chat like oh if froggy one doesn't want to go like I, I can go or whatever because froggy one like she didn't respond or whatever and i didn't know if she was gonna end up saying she wanted to go or if she was gonna say she didn't want to go with, with, with. so um she ends up responding a little later and she's like yeah girl you can go because she didn't feel like going so i was like okay bet so let me just give y'all a little background of like what kind of girls froggy one two and three were like we went to school in the suburbs like it was you could say it was metro atlanta but it really was like the real outer skirts of metro of atlanta like it was like a good 30 minutes away from the city of like the actual city or whatever and depending on where in atlanta even further like maybe 40 minutes so it definitely wasn't the hood a lot of people there like some people will fight and stuff like that because i feel like people just wanted to be hard like obviously some girls were just defending themselves like if they ended up getting in a fight or whatever but a lot of girls there really was just trying to prove that they were like like that because our school was known to be like you know in the suburbs like we were a suburban school for real like it was really diverse it wasn't just nothing but like you know white people or nothing like that but it was definitely not no school that was just known for fighting and nothing like that which to me i've never been the type of person who wanted to like kick that i was just from the hood or like kicked at my school oh yeah my school was like that everybody was just fighting everybody like no like my school had a good curriculum like if you graduated from my high school it was like it would look good on your college applications type shit. like I, I don't know why people were like so pressed to be where they were like where they were from like be from where what where they were not from or like be harder than what they were or whatever and i don't get why people think that being from the suburbs suburbs mean that you can't fight like you could be a suburban bitch that get down like you can get down it just means that you don't have to all the time you know what i'm saying you're not out in the field and like just having to fight for your life like it's okay to be from the suburbs it's really okay they just thought it was so hood over there so like when nibbler coming from one of them schools they i guess they thought that they were getting like some crazy girl who was gonna fight all their battles for them because even though i wasn't scary and i wasn't somebody who wouldn't fight or whatever i wasn't the type of friend who if you start in mess and you being messy and you popping off at the mouth and you talking like you know you you trash talking and you starting stuff with and shit, they want to fight you i'm not about to fight your battles for you like now if you not stirring up no drama and you you staying out the way or whatever and girls are just trying to mess with you on some bully then of course i'll like you know i'm gonna take one up for the team because it's like you're not about to bully my friends or you're not about to like you know get on my friends when they don't deserve it or nothing like that but like just like i can fight my own my own battles especially battles that i start or i participate in at least baby you can fight your own battles we are grown we are we are at a big age babe now in certain situations i done got down with my friends before like on some like you know you you got a friend group i got my friend group like let's let's get down and see who come out but that's different so and especially at school babe no i'm not about to fight your battles for you so i guess they thought that like she was coming from a school where there was a lot of fighting that she they were gonna just be down down to fight like be their damn bodyguards or whatever and i didn't get that vibe from nibbler at all so yeah back to the party the party was 20 dollars entry unless you 20 dollars entry unless you brought a plus one i believe and the plus one was free but if you were coming by yourself you had to come with it was something like ridiculous y'all it was like you had to come with a bottle and you had to come with 20 bucks female or male and it was crazy to me because it's like pool parties be packed i don't know about y'all but any pool party i went to had hella people sometimes more people than the pool could fit so what kind of pool party have you ever heard that you have to bring a bottle 
how many bottles do you need at a pool party mind you this was a party for like a 17 year old none of us are 21 like some people that were coming maybe were 21 but i'm 17 babe you're 17 this might have been this girl's 18th birthday but like we are not we are not 21 so how would we even get this bottle in the first place how would we obtain this bottle in the first place and y'all on the flyer i kid you not i'm gonna get i'm gonna get to that so she's like oh um you're gonna be my plus one or whatever right so party rolls around like the day of the party or whatever and we get on facetime like i'm showing her my bikini or whatever like what i'm finna wear she's showing me what she's finna wear we hype or whatever we like oh we finna go to this party girl like ass lit where the niggas at well no I, I think i was still with the boy that i found out was gay like or whatever but anyway i was lit anyway i was like bitch we outside we finna turn up i'm finna go in the pool y'all and one thing about me anytime i ever went to any type of pool party or anything like even when i go on vacation why am i the only one that wants to swim for real like why am i the only one that literally wants to be in the water like let's play mermaids type shit like we don't even got to do that we don't even got to do all that but like i literally love swimming when i go to a pool party 90% of the time I'm at the pool, I'm swimming. Like, I'll never forget my senior year. Like, there was like a senior pool party or whatever. And I was like the only one swimming, literally. Our plan was to, I was going to drive there. Like, we wasn't going to go together because, like, she still kind of lived closer to this city that she moved from. And I lived kind of like 20, 25 minutes away from the location of the party. So, we were going to, like, link up there together and then walk in together. Because in order for me to be her plus one, we had to come in, like, actually together, together so um we get off the phone or whatever she's like just um i'm gonna let you know when i'm headed that way because she she only stayed like 10 minutes away from there so i was like okay girl i'm gonna call you when i'm on my way or whatever so i end up heading my way like she texts me that she's on the way and i'm like all right i'm gonna probably be there like 10 minutes after you because again i was like 20 minutes away she was like 10 so when i get like almost i'll say like five minutes away from there i end up facetiming her because even to this day like when i'm meeting up when i'm going to my friend's crib if we're going to a lounge if we're going to a restaurant you know whenever you about to get there just so y'all can be on the same page you call your friend right so i facetime her and i'm like hey like i'm almost there i'm finna get there where you parked that type shit. i don't know if this is focused or if i'm just blind so if it's not focused y'all i'm so sorry but yeah i'm basically like oh i'm pulling up like i'm finna get there where you at and y'all this girl's like oh shoot just uh i forgot to tell you like um before you get here try to go to your brother and get a bottle and make sure you got a 20 on you Fuck out of here huh so i'm like girl what are you talking about i thought i was your plus one like what do you mean and she was like oh yeah before i left froggy three ended up calling me saying that she could go like she said she couldn't go before but she said she could go last minute so i picked her up on the way here and she's gonna be my plus one because like we're here already so you're gonna have to get a 20 and a bottle so yeah i'm not gonna lie this had me real like this had me mad for real like i was mad for real because it wasn't even so much that like about the 20 i mean it was kind of about all of that because it's like yeah i have an older brother who could get me a bottle but like how do you know that he's home like how do you know that i can do that i already drove 20 minutes to be like to get over here so i would have to go 20 minutes back find my brother get a bottle get a 20 like what are you talking about like girl you, you're playing on my face at this point so i end up um calling her back because she ends up like having being like hold on i need to call you back and then she hangs up or whatever and then i call her back or whatever and she doesn't answer so i text her and i'm like going off i'm like girl first of all i didn't bring no freaking cash with me because you said i was your plus one we were just on the phone why you didn't tell me this before when you picked her up why you let me waste my time and my gas or whatever and i'm like i can't get no freaking bottle like why are you playing like that like you really pissed me off or whatever and she's just kind of like brushes it off her shoulder tell me if i'm tripping but like bring your own beer when it comes to a party normally means that if you want to drink you need to provide your own drink meaning the party's not going to provide it it doesn't mean that you have to like you're required in order to get in you have to bring alcohol like i've never heard of that in my life like the only time i've heard of like where you gotta bring alcohol like bring a bottle or whatever it's like if you're having like a girl's night and everybody's told to bring a bottle and it's only a couple people or somebody's everybody's told to bring snacks like this is a pool party not a motherfucking potluck like why are you why are you making everybody bring a bottle like this shit is ridiculous like you don't want nobody to come to this party obviously i get mad and i end up taking my ass home that blew mine so i wasn't gonna go no more i was off it so i went and took my ass home so you would think that's where i kind of like i see what kind of friend she is i see the inconsiderate behavior that she has and i like you know distance myself Psych! 
<laughs> but no. Of course not. This wouldn't be a chest of story time if I just, you know, listened to my intuition and was like, mm-mm, no. Fast forward a couple weeks, it ends up being or coming up on Nibbler's birthday, mind you. Nibbler was the type of who, if you miss her birthday dinner, she's not your friend no more. She's posting about it on her on her close friends. Y'all got beef, y'all about to fight. She's the type of friend where you miss something for your man, like obviously it's understandable certain things like that like if you miss my birthday event for a stupid reason then yeah i'll be mad or like if you ditch me to go hang out with your man and it's something important like for me then yeah i get it but like she was not playing like in the group chat she was like y'all better make it and it wasn't even like just a birthday dinner that she was expecting us to make it was literally a birthday dinner the next day was a slumber party or maybe that night but it was three things like she had like a boom 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 type of birthday party it was like the dinner it was like a slumber party like a themed little slumber party thing real cute and then the next day it was like a spa day i believe where she wanted to get our nails and toes done and stuff like that and like it was a pretty penny like what she wanted to do then three three part extravaganza i had to save like i was working all through high school so i definitely saved my coin up so i can you know pay for my own stuff and not be that friend that's like oh i don't got no money so um probably like two weeks in advance i saved up my money for this damn girl's birthday plus i wanted to get her something nice so like i told y'all i was in a relationship and when i'm in a relationship i am the type of girl who you know i spend a lot of time with my man we doing stuff all the time i'm with him 24 7 you could call me attached to his hip but one thing about me is i am not the type of friend who's gonna miss events who's gonna ditch you 24 7 to be with my dude who's gonna make plans with you and halfway through the plans leave like no like i'm not missing no birthdays i'm not doing none of that and like if i make plans with you like for instance if you want to go to the mall with me even if it's more than one of us going together i'm either gonna not make the plan with you because i already got plans with my dude or i'm gonna make the plan with you and i'm gonna follow through with the whole plan like i'm not gonna be in the mall with you and then 20 minutes into the mall my dude call me and i'm ditching y'all like i'm not that type of friend now getting older i can see myself doing stuff like that more because i'm not i'm also not the type of friend that judges my friends who are like that because it's like we get into an older age like we're still young and turnt or whatever like a lot of my friends are just vibing like just vibing they're not really settling down or nothing like that but after our 20s comes our 30s so people are going to start you know settling down trying to prioritize building a family building their careers and stuff like that so I don't really have no friends that want to hang out 24 7 and i'm not that type of friend either so i don't really judge my friends who you know end up kind of ducking off when they get a boo or a boyfriend or whatever because I, I get how like i know what it's like but yeah for this girl i was i was showing up for everything i was never ditching her for no dude none of that so keep that in mind first it's her birthday dinner mind you everybody was able to come everybody said they'll make it there was no little squabbles there was nothing because like y'all i could do a mini story time just based off of the birthday dinners alone that i have experienced in my life like birthday dinners it's, it's something about birthday dinners i don't know what type of hoodoo voodoo is within these birthday dinners but it's always some type of drama some type of problem that goes down at a birthday dinner like i try to avoid having birthday dinners at this point everybody comes with a gift everybody comes dressed how she wanted us to she wanted us to wear all black i think the birthday dinner was like at kiku or longhorn something like that like it was like you know a calm place it wasn't too expensive but for us being like 17 and working nine to fives working minimum wage jobs you know it was a pretty little penny just for like ourselves or whatever but everybody came i remember exactly what i got for her, got her for her birthday i had wrapped like i think it was like in 20s like this little small bouquet of flowers in 20s um of like a hundred dollars or whatever or 120 or whatever and then i got her a little card where i wrote like this whole little message for her and um gave her like a hundred dollar gift card for either it was either bath and body works or victoria's secret because she loved one of those and it was one of those and um yeah that was all i could do because other than that babe i mean that's already 200 something dollars right there here's when stuff started to go left when it came time for our bill or whatever i remember my check was like 30 something dollars like it was or like 40 something dollars. like it was calm it was pretty expensive for me like alone but like i knew what it was i knew where we were going and we had a couple weeks to prepare for what everything that we were doing like this whole itinerary was presented to us like weeks prior so um 
the wait the waiter or the waitress or whatever i don't remember if it was a woman or a man comes or whatever and they're like um how do y'all want the bill to be split or whatever and i'm over here i go ahead and i offer to pay for nibbler's meal mind you nibbler basically shat on that whole idea she pulled out her wallet and there was like hella money in her wallet i guess her birthday money or whatever and she was like no girl i got my meal and like i was like girl are you sure and she was like no like for real i got it like she insisted that she pay for her own meal so i was like okay girl i'm not about to beg you to spend my money like i already got you these roses you could use that <laughs> but yeah she wasn't tripping on it so she was like i got my meal and then you know the other froggies they get their little apple pay or the little wallet whatever they got ready to pay and then y'all froggy one she ends up like kind of looking confused and she's like why are we paying for our own meals if this is your birthday dinner are you delusional do, are, do you suffer from a mental illness so i kind of like I'm like stressing at this point because I'm like I knew it was gonna be something I knew somebody was gonna say something somebody was gonna piss off somebody like I said it's always something at these birthday dinners but it's like everybody at the table kind of goes like hmm like what do you mean by that because it's like we're not in elementary school anymore I know some parents maybe weren't like this but I know in elementary school my parents if I was having like a little birthday party like or a little like birthday dinner first of all it would be like a couple of us or if it was like my classroom that we invited or whatever my parents would pay for everybody's meal because first of all it would never be no real expensive place and for two like that's just what you do i guess for kids but like we're we're 17 we all working we all got our own money like why would we pay why would the birthday girl pay for all of our meals like that makes no sense at all like that just doesn't make any sense she ends up going back and forth at the table y'all literally in front of this waiter and nibbler's all like girl why would i pay for y'all meal when it's my birthday like you don't see no nobody else saying that like you don't see nobody else asking me to pay for their meal like chest a hole and offered to pay for my meal like what is you talking about so they can start getting a little a little loud and one thing about me don't embarrass me like that don't embarrass me y'all already know how people be seeing us so don't do that so i'm like y'all stop like can you stop or whatever like stop and i'm like do you not have no money you want me to pay for your meal like like can we calm down please like on some like y'all can y'all have some freaking decorum in this bitch? and froggy one is like chestnut like it's not about me not having money it's the principle like do you think i'm tripping like you think you don't think she should be paying for our stuff for her birthday event and i was like no like i was like girl i'm not gonna hold you like no that's why i offered to pay for her meal it's her birthday like we're grown we agreed to come to her birthday event and like we know what we had to do so we should move accordingly and like save our money for it like hell no nah. this is this isn't no sense you tripping okay stop arguing we all end up paying for our stuff or whatever and we end up leaving fast forward the whole rest of the birthday weekend or whatever is kind of like it's kind of thrown at this point like froggy one's energy is off nibbler's energy is off nibbler's energy is always off like 90 percent of the time but with their energy being off it was throwing our energy off i mean but we did finish all the plans or whatever and we had like the best time that we could considering the circumstances but it was like it was just bad vibes or whatever so after the birthday shit was over with nibbler ends up hitting me up and she's like I'm not gonna lie, Chessa, she kind of ruined my birthday and I feel like you should have defended me more or something like that. Like something along the lines of like, why didn't you check her for real when she asked you if she was tripping? And I was like, hold on, 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 hold on. First of all, it's not my job to check nobody. She ain't my damn child, number one. And when she asked me if she was tripping, I told her she was tripping. What did you want me to do? Jump across the table and drag her? Like, uh, she asked me a question and I'm, I'm the only one out of all the froggies who said something so i don't know why you're saying anything to me and i was like and sh you're the one who she was tripping on so you should have checked her yourself birthday or not like what what did you talk about she's like you know what bet so she takes it to the group chat and she kind of directs her energy off of me onto froggy one and she's just like um froggy one i low-key don't appreciate how you ruined my birthday i don't know why you would expect me to pay for your stuff they keep going back and forth like they're blah 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 blah, blah. i mute the group chat and froggy one ends up eventually leaving the group chat later on that day i end up getting a text from froggy one and she's basically like chessa not gonna lie i feel some type of way about you and nibbler talking about me and the situation outside of the group chat so immediately i get mad because it's like why is this girl telling froggy one that we're talking about her when you, girl you hit me up so i shut that down like immediately and i'm like girl i'm not even trying to get tight with you but i definitely was not speaking on you or y'all situation she hit me up she texted me out of nowhere and she was trying to find herself checking me 
saying that I didn't check you properly and I basically just told her that she should take that up with you because it's not my play it's not my obligation to like check anybody for her so definitely not what happened or whatever and she's like okay can you add me back to the, to the group chat or whatever sorry y'all she's like can you add me back to the group chat or whatever so I add her oh. I add her back to the group chat. She was like, I want to just drop it. I wasn't trying to ruin your birthday. She's basically like apologizing to her. And it kind of gave me the vibe that she was scared of her on the low. Cause like it couldn't be me, but she's like, I'm sorry if I, if you feel like I ruined the energy of your birthday, I, it was just a misunderstanding. I really shouldn't have expected what I expected or whatever. Um, that's my bad or whatever. So they kind of like make up or whatever. And I'm kind of just side eyeing the both of them because this is ridiculous. And like, again, could not be me fast forward to senior year froggy three ends up moving schools she ends up leaving the group chat when she moves schools froggy one and nibbler they end up completely falling out about something else and after that nibbler one stops really like talking to me for real she leaves the group chat so the only three left standing in the group chat are me nibbler and froggy too so this is the time in the year where the boy that i told y'all that i was dating at the time ends up breaking up with me and y'all can watch the story time if y'all want to know like the details but again i end up finding out that he is gay and at first like before finding that out i was really heartbroken because he was my longest relationship at the time he was who i lost my v card to so it kind of affected me real bad and my friends were there for me like froggy too she was there for me nibbler she really couldn't care less because she had her own dudes but she was like half-assed there for me me. um my best friend at the time was ella y'all know she's from the story time of where i put up on my high school op and she's also in the story time of um roommate horror story she wasn't the horror she wasn't the, the horror story she was just the other roommate with me and there was another roommate that was the horror story so yeah i had my best friend ella still at the time like we were hanging out um within this like mind you in the summertime i was hanging out with other friends too i wasn't only hanging out with them it might just sound like that because i'm talking about this story or whatever so i'm only really mentioning stuff that has to do with them um and ella's really the main girl who took care of me like when i was going through this heartbreak or whatever but as soon as i found out homeboy was you know for the girls or no for the boys i got over him instantly and i'm not gonna give too much detail about this part because y'all can go watch the first story time that's on my channel about um how I flew out to meet my my boyfriend my, like my next boyfriend he was he was somebody that I talked to um over the internet prior like years prior to this situation but we never li really met because he lived in Texas and my family was from Texas like I lived in Texas when I was a kid but I was not old enough to be flying like you know back and forth to see him or whatever so we ended up breaking up I ended up like hitting up this boy that I just told y'all like I had history with over the internet or whatever and we end up facetiming I end up telling him about my heartbreak and he ends up kind of like taking advantage of my vulnerability like he ended up like laying it thick on me he's like oh you should come see me for spring break oh um I feel like if you were my girl I wouldn't do you like that and like y'all eating it up i was young and dumb but he was just kind of like um now that we're older you can come see me more and stuff like that so he was just kind of like trying to convince me to come see him and after we started talking or whatever he asked me to be his girl and i fell for the okie doke okay i ended up dating him or whatever and um turns out whole time he was cheating on me with his ex-girlfriend while i was there in texas for spring break before i got there while like even like before he asked me to be his girlfriend and after he was dating her sleeping with her and i obviously flew there and got intimate with him and almost caught something from him because his girlfriend ended up or his other girlfriend ended up hitting me up um she ended up telling me how he gave her or like he gave her the clap or whatever and that i should get checked and i did and i was clear and he did and he was clear too so i don't know if she was lying or what but I believed her because she showed me documentation and shit and she showed me messages where he was apologizing about it but um yeah she ends up saying that and she's like I tried to fight her and stuff only because like she was telling me that while he would be in the car getting a phone call from me she would be in the car and he would tell her to be quiet and he would answer like she thought it was cute to be she wasn't even a side piece like I was really the side piece like she felt she was okay with him having a side piece and like she it just wasn't even she was a girl's girl like it wasn't even she was coming to me as a woman to like tell me so that i don't be hurt like it was like she was rubbing it in my face like rubbing salt in the wound type shit and i don't play like that but we didn't end up fighting and that's that's another story for another time but um just keep in mind 
while this happened to me or whatever and when I get back to Georgia I obviously tell my friends about it um froggy too knows about it nibblers knows about it they're like oh girl he's dead as wrong like they're trying to be there for me or whatever but just know i trusted them especially with the information of me getting intimate with him almost catching something like i told them that in confidence meaning i told them that to not repeat it right i wasn't a story time teller back then i wasn't open about that situation it was fresh so me telling them was so that it could stay between us fast forward to graduation y'all froggy too ends up dropping out of um high school like after prom a few weeks before graduation comes down like i, I guess it was because she didn't want to stay all the way until the last day of school when she knew that she wasn't going to graduate i guess she was struggling with school or whatever i don't really know what her situation was maybe she just had a lot going on because she was pretty smart like she was in one of my ap classes um so yeah she ended up dropping out but she still ended up telling us like y'all and she still had the job at zaxby's that she had like last year in 11th grade like she was probably damn near finna be a manager or something i don't know like she was still working there and she was working a lot so she ended up um telling us like i'm gonna she came to our graduation or whatever which big ups to her because if i dropped out y'all would not see me at that graduation that would be very embarrassing for me but yeah she ended up dropping out and then me and nibbler obviously graduated and nibblers had nibbler had a graduation party before i did um i ended up making time to go to it i came with gifts i came with you know graduation gifts i showed up i was there the whole time i showed love and she ended up telling me she was going to come to my graduation party my graduation party was like two weeks after hers and she told me that she could come right froggy too ended up telling me she couldn't make it because she had to work and she tried to like get off um to call off for it and they didn't approve her time off so um she couldn't come or whatever but she was like i got you a graduation gift i'm gonna give it to you after work or like another day or whatever and i wasn't tripping on her because she showed me like proof that her manager was like you gotta come in and like she did i showed me her schedule so i was like it's cool girl i'm not tripping on you so um yeah so boom day of my graduation party nibbler ends up texting me and she's like hey um like probably like an hour before it starts and she's like um my grandma's in the hospital like something just happened i'm not gonna be able to make your graduation party i'm so sorry and mind y'all i believed her and i was like immediately like oh my god girl like don't worry about it don't apologize for that like handle your with your grandma i hope she's okay let me know an update because the type of person I am, I'm not lying on my family members to get me out of something. Like, maybe, maybe for a job. Like, I might make up something like, oh, my great-grandmother that's already deceased is sick or something like that. Or I might be like, oh, my my god, my god, my god, my godmother or something. Like, something that don't even exist. My fairy godmother is, is ill. Like, I'm not about to put that on my actual... I might have when I was young. Like, oh, my grandma's sick. Like, I gotta take care of her. But, like, I don't play like that. And not for something to get out of something with my friends like for a job if it's an emergency then yeah but like you telling me your friend something like that i'm gonna believe you because I, I didn't think that she would go out of her way to lie like that just to get out of a graduation party especially like my parties be lit like my parties be fun my family is fun it was gonna be drinks like not for underage drinking or nothing like that but like it was gonna be a fun vibe or whatever so i didn't think she was just trying to get out of it or nothing like that so fast forward um i i'm like off of my phone for my graduation party my graduation party was a movie y'all i have a story time for that one of these days um but yeah um after my graduation party the day later i check my phone or whatever and i go on her spam and on her story i see her posting with her man from like the night where of my graduation party like it's saying like 17 hours ago you the fake in america you're not a real person you're fake as so since you want to be fake i'm gonna be fake to you and i would never ever 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 speak to you again because you're dead ass motherfucking wrong woo -doo -doo. like she's not posting nothing about no grams grammy is not in the hospital she's not posting the hospital she's not posting nothing like that which that don't mean that it wasn't true just because she wasn't posting that but like the timestamps of what she was posting she was with her man so i'm like ah, okay. so that's funny because y'all i even told her she could bring her dude to my graduation party like, I whole told her she could bring him, like, just to avoid the whole, like, her not coming because she wanted to be with her man. I literally said he could come. My family was cool. They didn't really care too much. Like, I literally said he could come. So, I end up mad, and I end up hitting her up, and I'm like, so you, your grandma wasn't in the hospital. You were with your boyfriend? And she ends up leaving me on red real quick, y'all. 
and then she's like what are you talking about she ends up texting me like a minute later and she's like what are you talking about so i go to her story because I'm, I'm about to show you what i'm talking about babe i'm about to screenshot screen record whichever feature was available at the time i was like girl what do you mean so i go to her story y'all and why she deleted the videos of her and her dude i remember thinking i'm about to beat this bitch up mind you it wasn't 24 hours ago it wasn't that long ago so it should have still been up unless she deleted it. So she deleted it and tried to play in my face. We start going back and forth. And at this point, I just black on her because I don't like the lying. You ditching an event of mine that, mind you, I, there, there could have been plenty of times where I ditched her event because she just has bad energy in the first place. I could have made plenty of excuses. I could have made plenty of plans with my dude. And I never did that. I showed up to her damn party. I showed up to her graduation party. I showed up for anything that she ever had. Any plans I ever had with her, I followed through with it. So... And her playing in my face is what made me more mad than her not showing up. Like her telling me, what are you talking about? I never posted nothing. Like she was literally like, I never posted nothing with my man. What are you talking about? So I'm like, I just, I already seen it. Obviously you went back and deleted it. Like I just watched it. I'm not, I'm not tripping. I just seen the videos or whatever. And I'm like, there, there's been many a times where I never dished you for my nigga. Like there could have been times where I dished you for my nigga and I didn't. You're the same who was talking about we better make it to your birthday or we cut off you don't be playing about people ditching you for their man but you're doing it to me like you a hypocrite like you a fake ass you a fake ass like i start going off on her shit y'all at this point obviously stuff has been built up and i'm just tired of her bullshit basically we end up falling out because of that and we end up leaving the group chat so there's no more group chat with all three of us in it anymore and um i ended up just not talking to her no more apparently froggy 2 had ended up getting nibbler a job at zaxby's i think like a little bit after my graduation party i don't know like she was like freshly working there or whatever and i texted froggy too and i was like venting to her about the situation i was like girl um i'm not friends with her no more i left the group chat because she didn't come to my graduation party and it turns out like i saw her story and she was with her dude and she was like yeah i saw that like i saw that you were um during your graduation party like she was posting him like i saw that too or whatever and she was like that's really lame like and honestly we've been drifting apart because ever since i got her the job at zaxby's she's been like kind of like doing messy stuff at the job like just making her look bad basically because you know when somebody gets you a job and you come to the job and you start acting an ass or like you act like you you're not doing a good job it reflects on the person who got you that job and it makes them look bad so she's just like i was already planning on having a conversation with her and like she hasn't really been a good friend to either one of us for a while and like pretty much everybody and i'm gonna address that too i'm gonna have a conversation with her and i was just like oh like you don't have to bring up the situation with me if you don't want to like i already handled her i'm already not cool with her but if you want to bring it up as like as an example type of thing like if you want to bring it up you can basically like but you don't have to and she's like yeah i want to girl like i'm gonna let you know when i have that conversation keep that in mind this is very crucial so why a couple days later i get a text from froggy too and she's like Bitch. and i'm like what and she's like, um, I had a conversation with Nibbler. I ended up telling her how like, I don't appreciate how she came on the job and started acting how she was acting because it makes me look bad. I'm trying to save money to get my GED. I really need this job. Like I get it's just a Zaxby's job. Cause I guess like she was saying that Nibbler um, was invalidating like all of what she was talking about because it was just Zaxby's. Like she was basically like, girl, you're acting like we work at corp a corporate job. Like you're doing too much. It's just Zaxby's. Like she invalidated everything. And she was like, she was like, when I gave her an example of how she's been a bad friend, I brought up the situation with you or whatever. She was like, when I brought you up, she started talking. What do you mean by that? So she ends up sharing the voice memos with me. And I have the voice memo, the main one that had me th up. Um, she ends up showing me the voice memos of the situation or whatever. And she kind of brushed off the situation with me. Like she kind of just said one thing about it or whatever after talking about the Zaxby's thing and I have the clip and I'm gonna insert it on the screen I'm gonna play it on the screen or whatever I might just put it over my face right here so we can all listen to it um and I might change the voice just so because like she's a 12 ass girl like I don't have time for her being like you can tell that's me by my voice like girl I'll disguise your voice no worries but I'm gonna put it on the screen uh, and yeah chances she nuts like she's really nuts like i think she has to be prescribed some medicine because she's really nuts but i immediately go to her dm to um go to her instagram to dm her or whatever and i'm basically like you think you're gonna talk to my friend and she's not gonna tell me or something like that so she opens my dm she leaves me on open and then she posts on her story and she's like y'all get this y'all get this out my dm she takes it to the net she takes it to her story so I post on my story and I tag her and I say, 
come get my crazy ass out your DM. Cause like, you know, in the voice memo, she was saying that I was nuts or whatever, I was crazy. So I, you wanna take it to the internet, baby? We can take it to the internet, like, let's do it. So she ends up posting up another story or whatever, and she's like, what do I look like arguing with a who almost caught the clap from a nigga? So you wanna talk about personal issues on the internet now. Now you wanna be funny. Okay, I post on my story the voice memo and I tagged her and I was like, drop the dot <laughs> or shut the fuck up. Like I had posted like on my story the recording of the voice memo that she sent the girl about me and I just tagged her and was like, drop the addy or shut the fuck up. That's basically what I said. So she ends up posting on her story in her little Zaxby shirt, which is, well, this is where she messed up because I don't know what she thought. She posted in her Zaxby shirt and she was like, I get off at 10 baby or something like that i get off at 10 baby or something like that so what did i do i texted um froggy too and i was like friend not gonna lie to you i'm finna pull up to zaxby's and beat this girl's ass and she ended up giving me the the, the right away she was like girl she gave me the okie doke she gave me the green light she was like do what you gotta do because she saw what she posted like she literally followed her i was not about to wait till no 10 o'clock this issue cannot wait this issue cannot wait till 10 o'clock. You gotta see me now. I get my best friend, Ella, which I already told y'all about, and I only got her because I wanted her to film because since we're posting on the spam, I wanted to have this to post on the spam, and I did. So I pulled up with Ella to the drive-thru or whatever, and I didn't tell her I was coming, and I ended up ordering me a Nibbler's meal, which is what I always get from Zaxby's, and that's literally what I had before this story time. I was gonna eat it on the story time, but y'all know I don't really like doing that, for real. So she doesn't recognize my voice, I guess. Like, I don't know, I don't remember if I was playing at the time and I was like changing my voice, like trying to be funny, or if I just ordered it and she didn't recognize it because she didn't expect me to come. But like, I had ordered my little Nibbler's meal, my little Sprite, and I drove up to the window. And she wasn't at the first window, like she wasn't at the window um, where you, you know, pay. She was at the window where you get the food. So when I pull up to the window, I put my car in park and I looked at her and she looked like she's seen a ghost, y'all. She's like, oh shit, oh shit. And I looked at her and I was like, I'm gonna give you an opportunity to come outside or I can drag you now. So she ends up taking the bag that has my food in it and kind of, she don't throw the whole bag at me, but kind of like chucking the food out of the bag onto me. So I took my seatbelt off immediately and I grabbed her by her hair and I pulled her through the window and pop, 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 pop. And I start beating her, like I start dragging her through the window. So probably a good 30 seconds, Ella's recording this whole ordeal. Probably 30 seconds in, like I grabbed her, boom, 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 boom. And I'm beating her, like she's hanging out of the window. Like I don't pull her completely out of the window cause like that would take a lot of force. Cause the girl was, that would take a lot of force. But she's like dangling out the window and like she's hitting me and I'm hitting her, boo, 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 boo. And then I see her manager run and she's like, oh my God. And she starts grabbing her and tries to pull her back like completely through the window back into the store. So she's getting pulled on like like a rope, like tug of war. Like we're playing tug of war with this at this point, like a freaking pool noodle. I'm yanking her this way and, and beating her and she's yanking her this way. It's like, oh my God, oh my God. And, she, and then somebody else runs or whatever trying to help them and she ends up like, I'm gonna call the police. I'm gonna call the police if you don't leave. And y'all know one thing about me, once you mention the police, I'm out of there. So I ended up like letting her go or whatever. I put my car in drive and I skirt out of there or whatever and I leave. And y'all, all that ended up happening out of that is I got banned from that Zaxby's, like permanently banned or it, maybe it was like for two years or something like that. But y'all, I kept going to that Zaxby's, like I, get, I gave it like a year and I kept going to that Zaxby's and I guess they don't recognize me. I don't know if they just don't care, but like I still go to that Zaxby's. But yeah, y'all, like I had posted the video up on my spam and I had tagged her and like folks was clowning her and shit like that. But like she ended up saying like um she was gonna press charges on me and that her family wanted to press charges or something like that. Like she started trying to get 12 involved, so I deleted the video the same day that I posted it. Like people already screen recorded it and shit, but um I ended up deleting like taking the video down or whatever. She ended up texting me on Wednesday. And she was like, why someone send me a clip off your video talking about you making a story time about our fight? And I was like, cause I am? Y'all, I love using the word yam, like the, the food yam as I am. I was like, cause I am? She was like, you don't have my permission to do that. I was like, I don't need your permission to do that. I keep names anonymous anyways. I ain't giving no nobody no net traffic. Like I'm not gonna get you no internet traffic, some clout, no. 
so I was, she was like that's corny as f how you do that to people i was like you were in the you were in the wrong in this situation though are you just mad because you lost and she was like you pressed about beef that's over with for what i said you use cat laughing emojis for what because i'm being petty at this point because why are you texting me like girl and it's like who who really uses it like unironically if you use it ironically that's different but anyways i was like girl i ain't pressed it's content i don't know why you're not blocked to be honest don't play with me for real though i'll swing right by that zaxby's girl and i didn't really think like she really worked there still because it's years later at this point she was like i don't work at zaxby's anymore and i was like congratulations heart and i said get the off my phone and she ended up like not texting back or whatever and then today at 6 o'clock p.m she says if you post the video of the fight on the internet it's going to be a problem Mind you, I don't know where that video is. Like, I ended up completely deleting my spam page because my mom was like, when I went to college for that little semester or whatever, when I was going to college, my mom was like, my mom ended up seeing my spam page and she was like, you don't need um, a digital footprint of all this mess. Like, I was talking shit, I was talking about boys, I was posting B, fighting, stuff like that. She was like, you don't need none of this on the internet when you go to school, like, that's not a good look. So I ended up just deactivating my entire spam page. Plus, I already told y'all, I didn't post that on my actual spam page. I posted that on my story and ella is the one who recorded that like i didn't like i wasn't keeping that for safekeeping girl i was posting that because you played with me so i was like yeah she was like it's gonna be a problem i was like yeah for you i wasn't gonna embarrass you like that though girl and then she gonna say something yeah i know you wasn't i said her name i'm gonna blank that out and i was like why the f are you antagonizing me like I you didn't get dragged and pulled on like a pool noodle she was like you can't drag me now I said, girl, boo, keep bothering me and I'm going to drop the video on Twitter and tag you. I was lying. I don't know what that video is. And if you're watching this girl, if I find that, I'm going to try to find that video now. I'm going to hit up Ella. I'm going to ask her if she got it in her iCloud somewhere. I'm going to try to dig and find that video. And if I find it, it's going on Twitter. And I'm, because Twitter, they don't care. On YouTube, I can't post it on here. But if it's on Twitter, I mean, if I find it, it's going on Twitter. And I'm going to put the link to the Twitter video in my description box. So y'all better, y'all better thank her for texting me this mess, even for me. Because even if I don't find that video, thank her. Because if she would have never texted me all of this, I probably wouldn't have this video out so soon for y'all. I say, you know what's up, B word. Don't play with me for real, for real. Because you know, if 12 ain't involved, I'm down for whatever. But we both know you don't get down. So let's not take it there again. The F. And that's it. That's what I said. Because, girl, why are you playing with me like that? Like, you know that you were dead. Call the police. Especially in 2023. If I tried to fight you, girl, we are too grown for that. I'm not finna get no felony charge for battery, assault, none of that. Like, girl, stop stop playing with me. But what I can do is embarrass you on the internet because a lot of people know who I'm talking about. And you know what I'm talking about. And you really just proved it. Like, people be so stupid. Like, you really just proved that she lost. Because if, if she didn't lose, she would have corrected me in these messages. So, yeah, y'all. That's the end of the story time. Me and, um, what's her name? me and froggy too we ended up like falling off like not we didn't have no situation we just stopped talking because like we kind of just drifted apart or whatever why is this so bright there you go there y'all have it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you comment like and subscribe comment other videos that you guys want to see from me turn on the post notification bell so you never miss when i post a video follow me on all my social medias that are in the link tree in the description box below and um yeah i'm gonna catch you guys in the next video if you guys want to enter for a subscriber story time the email for that is chestachat at gmail.com and if you want a loyalty test to test your man for cheating your girl whatever it is chestalabrat1 at gmail.com make sure you guys don't get those emails mixed up and leave a comment down below saying that you love me and make sure you like this video and make sure you're subscribed and i'm gonna catch you on the next one bye